are dangerous and illegal animal traps doing on the ground where people walk and children play. Good to have you with us for Local 4 News at 6. Neighbors are outraged that whoever is setting these traps would show such disregard for the safety of others. And we're not talking about your run-of-the-mill backyard mold traps. These are bigger and are meant to snare larger animals. Let's get to Sean Lay. He joins us now. He's in Southgate tonight with the danger that now has the attention of animal control. Sean? The attention of animal control and the attention of parents here in Southgate very worried about a child stepping into one of these foot traps. You would might call them a bear trap. Look, Downriver Animal Control became aware of this yesterday. Someone called saying they saw a raccoon trapped in one of these. A leg was trapped and the raccoon was dragging the entire device uh, along with it. Are you kidding me? That's, yeah. that's like a bear trap. Neighbors in Southgate are horrified. I walk the front yard every day just to pick up sticks and stuff like that. After foot traps were found here on Phelps north of Fort Street, neighbors say road construction projects sometimes sends rats into this leafy neighborhood. We don't even have I a mean, loose dog issue. But someone now is setting foot traps, maybe for rats, maybe for raccoons, but it's definitely illegal. City limits, there's no way. Cindy Belka says all it takes is for a kid to step on one of these traps. Elementary school age walking around looking to break kids yards, you know, people's yards for money, make extra money, no school, and they could have very easily been really hurt. They can call here um, and rent one of the traps and we could do it that way and we release it out in the woods somewhere. This is one of our live traps. Anyone with an animal issue can rent a live trap here. Downriver Animal Control says the foot traps are inhumane, baited with food and are meant to maim. It could be your dog, my dog, something like that, and just happen to get out, gets in that trap, it can end up with a broken leg. So you don't want your dog getting stuck in one of these traps or a child. Look, Animal Control down here says two things. They're illegal. That's the point they want to make. And you can come to them to rent a live trap, and they will ha help you if you have an animal problem on your property. Uh, Devin, Carmen, that's the scene down here in Southgate. Back to you. Okay, who is setting the traps? Does Animal Control know? You know, they have a decent idea of who, but they haven't gotten in contact with that homeowner yet. If they're able yeah. to pinpoint exactly who is setting these traps, they can take the traps away and they can find that homeowner, and they're working on it right now. All right. Sean Lay reporting for us live.